Look at this beach. You got pounding waves over here. Turn around, you got to hang out right here on a little putting green and waves crashing all around. Talk about one of the coolest beaches ever. This might be the greatest bar in the world. Local anchovy maker. Cebola relleno stuffed onion conservas. You can get clams and beans like in a can. Incredible. Okay, we were at a rural mountain market on a Sunday. Cheese for days. This might be some of the best cheese in the world. Okay, let's talk local cheese empanada. Well, Kisser Cabrales is the local cheese. That's what's in that. It's kind of like a blue. What do we got here? Random carne empanada. Slow cooked meat. Can't fail. Another very Asturian sweet. This is what life's all about. You come to market, stuff your face with pastries, check out the locals, get some glares. You can't go wrong. This is traveling. Queso artesano vaca cabra. Some of the most beautiful cheese I've ever seen in my life. Look at this, broncha prancha. It's like chorizo bread with hunks of fat. Cornbread. I've never seen that. I don't know what that is. There's that salted pig snout again. That's how you know your product's good. You just show that it grows on the bush. Once again, we are deep in the mountains in the very Asturian fashion from the ocean to the mountains in an hour and a half. This time, very rural. Uh, Agro turismo buried up here. Only place to stay in the town. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's see what we can find. You see all these raised houses? They're old storage lockers. You see them on stilts right over there. Look at these storage lockers. farming town. I want to give you a quick showing of where we stayed last night. This was kind of a cool building. It's an old farming building. But look at this main room, this old room. Old sewing machine, old fireplace. He converted it into kind of like a tourism agriturismo. You can see the old photo there of the original building, which is still here. Not bad. Old sink, old desk, probably many love letters penned looking over the mountains. Oh, what you can find in a Fun little Spanish Asturian town. Let's go see some ancient villages. Look at this. How they used to live. The hay roofs. 
perfectly maintained. The true Asturian architect. Not a bad place to live and eat your fabada, your bean stew, have some morcia. Look at these straw roofs. Beautifully preserved. Mountain living here. No one around. We had to drive up a little, basically a gravel path for like an hour, 30 minutes, maybe. taking a train through rural Astoria. See what we can find in the woods. On the way to the oceans. This train goes all the way from Oviedo to Faro. So that's seven hours going about this fast. Old, narrow gauge, I think train rail, so it makes it slower. Here we are in La Caridad, small town, Asturias. Asturian unicorn. The town center of La Caridad, about a hundred people. What a meal. Cod cheeks. Galician octopus. Somewhere off the shores of Galicia. Probably the best seafood in the world. This crazy guy is probably the famous, most famous fisherman of all time. Got a statue about him. This is where the good seafood happens, right on the port. Divey restaurant, everything you could ever ask for. Basically the tip of the Atlantic out there. You just go out there, make a right, and you start heading towards New York. Nothing but seafood and seaweed. Atlantic Ocean. The Merluza Festival, that's what we just had. Hate cheeks. Pretty impressive. Merluza is a fish to have here. It's very hard to find other places, but they obviously had a festival there because they're throwing one, throwing up a poster on the wall. But the cheeks are very gelatin-y and special, and they're very hard to find outside of Galicia. But those were soft and delicious. Ah! Huh? <laughs> Got that. That is the type of perfect restaurant, perfect dive bar. I uh, went there, had a quick little steak and a plate of potatoes. That's what you look for when you travel. Just a local joint recommended by the hotel front desk dude. How do you know? Wouldn't have been able to find it. Just looks like a totally unassuming place, but locals only cheap, tasty. So there's your tip of the day. Always, always, always ask the people working around the hotel, especially if it's just a chill hotel and not some luxury one where they send you to a fancy place. Just ask them, where would you eat? Where would you eat? They're going to give you a good tip. starting a train journey to Vigo, the town, the big port town that I went to shortly, for a short period of time, but we're going to grab a train down there, down the coast, 